Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave, right? The expectation was a double-sided momentum because of the data and I mentioned that if it opens a gap up somewhere between 22, 322, 22, 360, 365, right? I will take a short trade. What exactly happened today is um, I put a call sell order Somewhere it should have got executed around 22, 310 to 22, 315. That was the idea I had in my mind. That was the plan as well. Um, unfortunately, that order didn't get executed because today it made a high of 22, 298. So just by 10 points or 12 points, I missed that order execution, right? I put the order and I had left. Um, it did not get executed. If we saw 150 points fall within one hour, right? One, two, three, four candles. We saw 150 points fall. That would have been an excellent trade and as perfectly as per the plan. But it happens in market, right? Not always uh, we are unlucky. Not always we are lucky as well. So I treat uh, them equally. So no problem. Uh, I just stuck to the plan. So I'm happy about it. So that was the first trade that I missed. Okay. Second trade that I had planned was yesterday I had marked the level of 22,130 as the support. So it was the breakout of this side. So this W pattern, which I'm showing here, anything above 22,130 would go higher. That was the expectation. So 22,130 was the breakout level. Again, I put a buy order here. Uh, so when it was falling, so that also did not get executed. It made a low of 22,152. And my order was at 22,130 approximately. So that also did not get executed and market went up again. Now, why did I put a buy order here? Because I expected a double sided momentum. So I knew after the fall again, it would go up. Only thing is, uh, again, if I had seen these three candlestick structure, I would have taken a bullish trade. But again, I put a buy order at 22,130 because that was the support level and market went higher again and I got no trade at all today. More or less market remained in a sideways range today as well, right? So I just calculated there is around 40 candles within this range of 100, 100 and, um, yeah, 140 points. Within 140 points, there are more than 40 candles on Nifty. Uh, in case of Bank Nifty, again, it was at the same levels uh, as I had shown yesterday. So if you observe, this 47.882 is acting as a super crucial resistance. Today, first candle, it tried to give a breakout but closed below that. Second candle, third candle, it, none of the candles. So, in total, it took 13 candles but still could not break this resistance of exactly 47.882, right? So, this act level is acting as the super important resistance for now. Here, I had drawn 47.602 as the support but it has taken support somewhere around 47.580. So, I will move. 47580 as the support level for tomorrow right uh, let's start with the daily charts and then we'll analyze the uh, market for tomorrow certain important points as usual will be there so please do not skip so if you see this is kind of a bearish engulfing if you compare body to body um, but again i prefer to consider the entire candle to be engulfed within the body not just body to body right so it is kind of bearish, but not very bearish for me. Uh, so this red candle yesterday, if you go back and check the video here, I mentioned that one red candle has to be formed, then only we can take a bullish trade. So it has formed a red candle. I'll tell you the important levels and then we will see. Here also it has found a red candle. So a fall, a retracement. So it, not a retracement. This was the pullback basically. Now, if it breaks the high and closes above this, then we can try for a bullish trade. We'll see the levels in a minute, right? So, analysis for tomorrow. Um, yeah, before I go to the analysis for tomorrow, one important thing. Uh, yesterday, I mentioned that the 6% up move. Are we already in that up move or is that up move going to come later? So, I checked the data once again. So, that 6% up move is nothing to do with uh, what is happening in May month. I'm very much clear. So I will let you know uh, when exactly, I mean, approximately when that 6% move can start up move. So for now, don't consider and confuse that. That's a separate analysis. We are not going to touch that. However, we will definitely get that 6% up move. I'll make clear video on that. We'll have to wait for a few more days because 
the FIS are in, increasing their index future shorts, right? Today also they have gone to 2 lakh. Uh, let me see the figure here. So this is a status data. One moment. Yeah, so this is today's data. So it is 2 lakh 45,000. They are continuously increasing their index future shorts. So we'll have to wait for this number to start cooling down and then I will let you know. Very, very likely, in my opinion, as I said, if May month is forming a red candle, then we can expect a, on monthly charts, if it is forming a red candle, then we can expect a green candle in June month and also kind of 5 to 6 percent up home. We'll go to that later. Now, quickly going to the analysis for tomorrow. Index futures, uh, retailers have further added 13,000 longs, so it is bearish. FIAs have again added shorts, so it is bearish. So in the short term, I don't think so there is any relief on the index future side, but again, market is not falling as well. So we need to keep that in mind. Let's focus on options. Um, index calls, retailers have shorted further calls, so it is bullish. FIAs have reduced their call longs, so bearish. Pros have reduced their call shorts, so bullish. So two out of three indicators are indicating bullishness. This is bullish, this is bearish, and this is bullish. Index put side, retailers again added huge uh, call shots, sorry, the put shots. So it is bearish. FIIs have reduced their put longs, so it is bullish. Pros have added put longs, so it is bearish. So here it is indicating mixed, again, this is indicating bearishness. Index calls is indicating kind of bullishness index puts is indicating bearishness so once again tomorrow could be a volatile or a mixed day i would say right so it can again go a consolidation phase or just give random moment and not give a proper trending momentum that's possible looking at the data right now important levels that it has to break so that there is some good momentum let me show you an hourly chart here so 22 3, 308 will be the first resistance and 22,366 will be the next resistance. Beyond 22,366, we can expect target of 22,500 as, as I men mentioned yesterday, right? So approximately, uh, we'll get 22,500, 520 levels if 22,366 is broken. On downside, 22,160 and 22,076 are important supports for tomorrow. Anything between 22,160 and 22,360, I think this 200 points range, uh, it's better not to take any aggressive trades right so let it break on the upside or on the downside and then it's good to take a trade similarly in case of bank nifty 47880 900 that will be the first resistance 48200 will be the next resistance uh, again we are we are seeing consolidation so let it break on either side then we can get a good trade right uh, one important thing even if there is a daily candle closing above 22366 you should have strict stop loss of 22,300 or 22,308. Anything below this can get bearish again. So in case market closes on higher side, ensure to carry hedges as well if you're taking bullish positions, right? Um, that was one important thing. Next thing is I mentioned in yesterday's video that Nifty and Bank Nifty will behave differently. So if you see Nifty was kind of very much flat, just 0.08% down, but Bank Nifty was minus 0.36% down. So that also was conveyed through data. Um, that's another thing. Again, VIX is not cooling off. Uh, probably till the election results are out, maybe it might not cool off very much, right? It may fall till the support level of 18 point something, but not beyond that, or it might still keep rising as well. So just to summarize, uh, wait for 22,366 to be broken and a daily candle to close there. Or wait below 20 to 160. I'll see the low here. Yeah, okay. Then below 20 to 160 and then take a bearish trade, right? Uh, in between that, you should trade very cautiously and data is indicating again a double sided momentum for tomorrow, right? I hope this video is helpful. Please do like, share, and comment. Thank you all. Have a good day.